hello students in this lecture we will be discussing sts polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is also called page so polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or page is a technique to separate proteins according to their electrophoretic mobility this electrophoresis is a standard method to separate identify and purify proteins so page is a technique to separate identify and purify proteins polyacrylamide gel is formed by polymerization of acrylamide and bisacrylamide in the presence of aps or ammonium per surface per sulfate as the initiator and temid which is your nnnn tetramethylene diamine as catalyst the most commonly used form of page is sts page which is also called sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and sts page is used most mostly for the separation of proteins so sts page or uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is an analytical method to separate components of a protein mixture based on their size this technique is based on the principle that a charged molecule will migrate in an electric field towards an electrode with opposite sign the general electrophoresis technique cannot be used to determine the molecular weight of biological molecules because the mobility of a substance is in the gel depends on charge and size so the sixth point mentions about the native polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis when sts page is not used where the sodium dodecyl sulfate is not used so in native electrophoresis or native polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis the separation is based on both charge and size but in sts page the electrophoretic mobility depends only on size not on charge so please see the difference between 6th and 7th point 6th point says that differentiation uh, in uh, is based on charge and size this is about native page and seven point is specifically about sts page where the electrophoretic differentiation will be based on only size of the proteins now the eighth point is for this different pro protein molecules with different shapes and sizes needs to be denatured and this is done with the help of sts so that the proteins lose their secondary tertiary or quaternary structure the proteins uh, now being covered by sts becomes negatively charged and when these are loaded on a gel and placed in an electric field uh, it will migrate towards the anode or positively charged electrode so the separation will be based only on size because all the proteins will have negative charge so all the proteins will move towards positive charge in sts page and that is why charge gets nullified all are negatively charged and they will be moving to the positive electrode that is why the charge uh, the difference will be based on only uh, size and not the charge now the 10th point is after the vis visualization this by staining technique the size of protein can be calculated by comparing its migration distance with the known with uh, uh, with that of a known molecular weight ladder or marker so we know the uh, size of the unknown protein with the help of molecular markers which are loaded on the gel now what are the requirements of this technique we require acrylamide solution for 
two types of gels dissolving and stacking gel and then second is we need isopropanol and distilled water gel loading buffer running buffer staining and destaining solutions protein samples and molecular weight markers which are also called ladders or standard markers and the equipments which we use for this page is um, an electrophoresis chamber with power supply glass plates uh, which are used for casting gel then casting frames casting stand and combs now these are uh, some of the components which are uh, which which you can see here in this uh, uh, picture now, this is for page so you you this is electrophoretic chamber these are combs these are your glass plates and these are your casting units and here you can see that this is full electrophoretic uh, chamber with electrodes mm, negative and positive electrode and this is a gel with uh, protein gel so you can see the blue now gel what are the steps here. for doing page we need to first prepare sample so first step is your sample preparation the protein samples are first denatured and loaded with a dye which is generally bromophenol blue then we prepare second point or second step is we prepare polyacrylamide gel and there are two types of gel in page stacking gel and resolving gel so this is different from uh, agarose gel electrophoresis because in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis two kinds of gels are prepared and the composition of two kinds of gels are different stacking gel is on the upper side and below the stacking gel is a resolving gel then the third point is electrophoresis once the gel is prepared and the protein samples are loaded then this is this gel is connected and this is put in the electrophoretic chamber and connected to a power supply and then last step is your detection so here we can see the gel in uh, simple tube lights with our naked eyes and we do not need any uv trans illuminator which was required in age for seeing the dna gel so in detection uh, what we do the gel is stained this gel which is stained um, with a stain that is generally comassi bl brilliant blue dye for proteins and we can see the uh, gel uh, we can see the stained proteins on the gel in a simple photo illuminator now what are the applications of this technique the applications of page are that it is used this technique is helpful in measuring the molecular weight of proteins uh, for estimation of their size comparison of polypeptide composition of different samples say we uh, extract the proteins from different plant samples then we can compare them then analysis of the number and size of polypeptide subunits can be done with them and post electrophoresis applications such as western blotting so here you you can see that this is a electrophoretic unit and one important point to remember in this is that in this this is called also called vertical electrophoresis because the separation is from upper side to lower side top to bottom while age it was called horizontal electrophoresis because the gel was the bands were moving horizontally the dna bands were moving horizontally so here you can see the different um, components of this electrophoresis unit these are your glass chambers these are your glass uh, slide and this these are your comb so we will be seeing in the next slide now this is in the here you can see that this is uh, how uh, the gel is loaded with the protein sample so you can see here the combs and uh, with the help of comb these gels are made uh, these wells are made in the gel and the protein sample is loaded in these wells so this is called sample loading now because in sts page all the proteins they gather negative charge 
so this is negative this is this wells are kept on the negative electrode side and then when the electrophoretic uh, electrophoresis is done using um, connecting with the power supply then the direction of these negatively charged proteins is from negative to positive electrode and this gel is made of acrylamide and bisacrylamide so separation is based based on only the size and in this gel which is composed of acrylamide and bisacrylamide the uh, the separation is such that the smaller molecules moves very fast and the larger molecules they are behind the smaller molecules so the separation is based on the size smaller the size uh, higher is the rate of movement and larger is size uh, smaller uh, is lower is the rate of movement so the the rate rate of movement is inversely proportional to the size of the protein molecule and so on uh, here you can see that this electrophore in the uh, in this picture you can see that this electrophoretic chamber is connected with the power supply now here again this is another picture showing how the proteins are moving from the anode to cathode and these are your different wells where you can see that larger fragments when the when the fragment is near the well we see we say that it is larger we interpret that the larger fragments and the smaller are at the bottom and this is the direction of migration and high molecular weights are, are behind the low molecular weight proteins so this is your vertical gel electrophoresis and here in this picture you can see that there are three pictures these are a uh, protein gels uh, which are stained blue with commassive brilliant blue and you can see that in the first uh, first lane in all the three um, uh, three gels um, the, pro the molecular markers or ladders are la loaded so kda means kilo daltons so proteins are measured in uh, their size is kilo daltons so 205 kilo daltons to 20 kilo daltons the smaller is the size this means that smaller protein unit and here you can see that we know the size of the unknown protein molecule with the help of a ladder say for example in this lane the size is comparative is below 29 so we, we can say that probably this is 27 kilo daltons and we can also compare uh, the three cultivars uh, three different kinds of plants for example in this picture you can see that pusa ruby is a cultivar arcovisa vikas is another cultivar and pusa early dwarf is another cultivar so you can see that uh, the proteins are very protein bands are very sharp in the first picture and in the uh, other two pictures they are not very sharp so we can interpret the results based on our observations and then we can see what new proteins are coming in our uh, in our gel for example you can see here that out of all the lanes the last two lanes the protein bands are very dark and very sharp and very uh, high so we have interpreted results accordingly i hope you have understood the concept students and we can you can refer books of biotechnology to understand it better uh, so thank you and we will be meeting in next lecture now